one is obviously too many. In Hayes County, the death of a 15-year-old girl is being investigated as a possible fentanyl overdose. Medics were called to a home on Monday where they found her dead. It's very preliminary as we all know that the facts can change after after the investigation takes place, but it's suspected fentanyl could be a cause, but obviously we can't confirm that until toxicology comes back. Since January 2022, the sheriff's office says it responded to 66 fentanyl poisonings that led to 14 deaths. The sheriff's office also says fentanyl is the number one killer of people ages 18 to 45 in Hayes County. It's a weapon of mass destruction. I don't say that lightly. Um, and it's, it's, it's a crisis, it's an epidemic, and we have to work together to try to keep that number as low as possible. Hayes CISD confirms the teen was a student in the district. In a statement sent to families, Superintendent Dr. Eric Wright says, I can tell you that it is our continuing worst fear to lose another student from a danger that remains present in our district and across the country. We have previously lost six students to this evil since the summer of 2022. Since then, Hayes CISD has been producing PSAs as part of its Fighting Fentanyl campaign. Janelle Rodriguez is a Hayes County parent knows the dangers of fentanyl all too well. She lost her son Noah to the lethal drug last August. Noah took what he thought was a Percocet um, that he purchased from an older friend and it ultimately ended his life. Um, it was pure fentanyl. After her son's passing, Janelle started the Forever 15 Project organization to spotlight the dangers of the drug and provide resources to those at risk. Don't think that this can't happen to you. Fentanyl does not care. In Hayes County, Monique Lopez, CBS Austin News. Thank you for watching. Please hit the subscribe button and get the latest news by downloading the CBS Austin News app.